Hey everybody, welcome to Profit Go Pilot. It's Mick Meany here again, and today I'm going to talk to you about some common trends that all successful people have, and there's seven of them, and I'm going to tell you what they are right now. So the first thing, and probably the most important thing that I notice all success all successful people have, is a purpose. They have a reason for doing what they're doing. So it's not so much about what they're doing; it's about the why they're doing it and uh, they they have a mission something that's not just about making money or it's not about improving themselves it's about something bigger about legacy or a contribution to the world something that they need to do you know for me it's helping people to improve their websites and their email lists that is my mission because I know how to do it and it would be wrong of me to not share that information. I would feel bad by withholding that information and I would feel like it would it would prevent you from achieving more stuff. And that would be a terrible crime in my mind to withhold that. So it is my mission to help you to improve your lives through digital marketing through blogging, through content creation and email list building, all the stuff that absolutely works, that allows us to have all that freedom, abundance and independence that we all deserve. We all deserve it. Every single human being on this planet needs to know that this is achievable and they can live a life filled with passion, doing the things that really drive them, that make them feel fulfilled and the way to do it is through digital marketing. And that's my calling. That's my mission. And I will not stop. <laughs> so you've got to find yours. and uh, You find your purpose and you do it uh, and you go for it. So, and that's what successful people do. It's the first thing. Secondly, they work backwards. So they start with the end result. They, they see what they want to achieve and then they work backwards from that point. So for you, it might be a sales funnel okay so you would start with the end result so you would start with the, the sales page with the product that you sell it and work backwards from there and build it out so successful people are always thinking about the end result you know maybe they're thinking about the, the end of life how they want to be remembered and what they represented on this planet so the, the third thing that successful people have is discipline over motivation okay everyone talks about motivation they're not feeling motivated to do this do you know what i've said this before it's, it's one of my favorite things to say on this channel and on the blog it's that motivation is not your friend okay motivation gives you a reason to fail it gives you an excuse to not do the work because you don't feel like it because you can't be asked whatever it gives you that option. But discipline, that doesn't care how you feel. Discipline says you get up, you do the work, you get it done. And discipline is what builds your businesses. Discipline is what's going to get you success. So forget your feelings, forget motivation, just focus on the discipline side of things. And then the fourth thing, okay, is successful people see failure as an opportunity. Someone unsubscribes from your email list, some people will see that as a failure. Flip it around. See it as an opportunity to learn something, to improve your business, to improve your mailing list. Find out why they unsubscribed. I don't mean just contact that person <laughs> further when they've explicitly said they don't want any contact. What I mean is look for patterns, look for trends in, in your failures. Find out the weak points, what's causing that, that chain to break, and then fix it, make it stronger. So see failure as opportunity to improve and the fifth thing i think we're on number five is be selective about who you work with okay you'll you'll notice that uh, successful people don't work with everybody you know they they limit the people that they will align themselves with and be associated with and they make sure that the values that they carry and they uphold are in alignment with the people they work with and if somebody is 
it is not upholding the same values, irrespective of how much money they might help you make, successful people will move on. And then the sixth thing that successful people do is meditate. They visualize what they want to achieve. They focus on it. They give it real clarity in their mind and they become at ease about it. They don't panic. They don't operate from a place of fear. They know what they need to achieve. They figure out how they need to do it. They visualize what it will be like to obtain that. So visualization is is probably my favorite form of meditation. So it gets me really relaxed, really focused on what I need to do and why I'm doing it. And that's really key in this is the why you do what you do. And then the final thing, the seventh thing that successful people do is they give more than they take. Okay. It's a really simple but beautiful concept that we we go out into the world and we contribute more. We give more in terms of knowledge, experience, help. We improve more people's lives. We give of ourselves freely to people who need it. And then we don't really ask for that much in return. So we give more than we take. We contribute more value to our email lists, on our blogs, to the people we work with. And then, of course, we have the little pitch. So I think the balance is around 95% value. Give 95% and then 5% ask. I think that's the right balance. That's a place where I'm coming from. And that has always served me well. So I'll leave it there. And maybe this will help you to become a little bit more successful. I think when you put all of these in alignment and we break it down, it's all achievable stuff. You know, this is stuff that anybody can do and you can do it too. So thank you for watching this video. If you've liked it, hit the like button below, give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.